This is gelatin. At home, we know it better as leaf gelatin for cooking. This is powder gelatin, as used for the industrial preparation of various products. Gelatin is a tasteless, highly purified, collagenous protein. And what do you use it for? A whole lot. Gelatin is made by using a highly modern, complicated process, most of which takes place in a so-called closed system, comprising large stainless steel vessels with many pipes, tubes and other equipment. To be able to understand this better, let's make some gelatin ourselves. First of all, we need some starting material. The basic raw material, for example, a piece of pork belly. We now cut off the rind. This contains the collagen that gelatin is made of. Collagen protein is contained in pig skin, but also in human skin. And this is exactly what we need to make gelatin. So, how do we get the collagen out of this rind? We first chop it up into pieces of about three millimeters in size and place these in water. Now, acid is added to this soup to render the collagen soluble. We simply use vinegar for this purpose. This mixture is then warmed a number of times at increasing temperatures. This causes the collagen to dissolve better in the water. But it is still a turbid solution. The warming process plus the added acid cause three layers to be formed. The bottom layer consists of solids, the middle layer is the acid solution, and the thin upper layer is fat. The middle layer is the important one though. The fat and solid components are removed using a centrifuge and the collagen solution moves on. This process is called extraction. Now a complicated purification process begins as there are still some tiny particles left in the solution that render it turbid. To get a clear gelatin solution, this turbid liquid is then filtered. This process takes place in the factory using extremely fine filters. So-called ceramic microfilters are employed for this purpose. Under enormous pressure, the collagen solution is passed through the filters with their tiny pores. These are so fine, they cannot be seen by the naked eye. A clear solution comes out the other end. The total filtration distance covered is about 3,000 meters. However, the purification process is still not complete. There are still some salts in the solution, and the water also has to be removed. This is when the solution is run through these huge vessels. These are filled with tiny beads that look a little like brown sugar. They are, however, made of synthetic resin. When the collagen solution passes through these, the salts contained adhere to the beads. The solution is now pumped through these long stainless steel pipes and then heated in these huge tanks until the water has evaporated off. From every two liters or so of collagen solution, only about 200 milliliters of honey-like concentrate remains. This process is known as concentration. Now, the gelatin is briefly heated in order to kill off any remaining germs and to stabilize the gelatin for storage. The honey-like concentrate is now cooled down and is pressed through a perforated disc. So-called gelatin noodles are produced here. They fall onto a conveyor belt to dry slowly. Warm, sterile air is then used to gently evaporate the residual water from the noodles. These gelatin spaghetti exit from the other side of the dryer and are then chopped and milled to powder. This powder is then filled into 1,000 kilogram big bags for storage. Each customer who orders gelatin for use in his own products has, of course, certain requirements that have to be fulfilled by the gelatin. And especially, he will always wish to be able to reorder exactly the same type, 
Thus, there is no standard gelatin. Every customer gets his own tailor-made Gelita gelatin. And they use it to produce all those delicious products that make our mouths water. It's great, isn't it? The manufacture of leaf gelatin is a little different. Here, it is extremely important that every single leaf always has exactly the same properties. In this process, the gelatin powder is re-dissolved in water and poured onto a so-called cooling drum. A wide film is the result. This is then automatically cut into narrow bands. These are placed on a net, which then slowly passes through a dryer some 150 meters in length. At the other end, the now firm strips are cut into individual leaves and sent to the packaging department. From here, the packs of leaf gelatin start their journey to kitchens throughout the world. On every continent, gelita leaf gelatin is used in the preparation of numerous delicacies such as table jelly, chocolate mousse or panna cotta. And where do they end up? Indeed. Gelita, improving quality of life.